Hi there, my name is Dylan McDowell, and I'm here to show you how to use the pseudo element feature on your Vanta handheld analyzer. In several industries, it's common to encounter criteria that consists of a combination of multiple elements. Examples of this include sum of toxic elements or ratio of geological elements. In the past, users would have to manually calculate these criteria. But with the pseudo element feature on the Vanta, we can automatically calculate them and display it alongside live chemistry results. Let's show you how. To access pseudo element feature, Log into your analyzer and make sure you have the method selected you wish to do testing with. Open up the menu tray and select the option for pseudo elements. Here, we'll be able to create a new pseudo element model that has the pseudo elements we wish to use. A model can contain multiple pseudo elements, and those pseudo elements can be shared between multiple models. To create a new model, simply press the plus icon in the bottom tray. Here, we'll be able to give a new name to our model using the field at the top. Select the field and use the keyboard to enter in a new name. I'm going to call my model mod1. From here, I should be able to add a pseudo element from the pseudo element list. To access the pseudo element list, press the list icon in the bottom right hand corner. Here, you'll be able to see the list of available pseudo elements. I've already created one called set1, and you can see its math formula associated to the right. If I wanted to create a new pseudo element, I could do so by pressing the plus icon on this screen. Here I'd be able to enter in a new name for that pseudo element and its associated formula. The formula must consist of element prefixes, mathematical operators, and numbers. For now though, we'll just use set1. Exit back out to the pseudo element model screen, and from here I'll be able to add the pseudo elements to the model by pressing the plus icon. Select the pseudo element you want from the list, and it'll add it to the pseudo element model. Now that I've added that pseudo element to my model, I'm now ready to use it in live testing. From here, if I take a live test, I'll be able to see the pseudo element that I created, set one, displayed alongside with our normal chemistry results. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set up and use pseudo elements on your Vanta handheld analyzer. Thanks for watching.